Hi, my name is Lisa A. Romano and I am the Breakthrough Life Coach and I am a best-selling author. And primarily, um, I am somebody who is passionate about helping adult children from dysfunctional homes heal their childhood trauma. Um, way back when, 20, 15 years ago, I was diagnosed with clinical depression. I was going through a very difficult divorce and I needed help. I was developing chronic illnesses like migraine headaches and asthma. I started to experience severe panic attacks, tachycardia, hives, I couldn't sleep, insomnia, my hair was falling out. Um, I, would, I would go back and forth between eating way too much or not eating enough and my life was really falling apart. When I went into therapy, I was shocked when the therapist said to me, you know, uh, you're clinically depressed, but you're clinically depressed because you're codependent. And you're codependent because you were raised by two unrecovered adult children of alcoholics. I mean, I was floored. I never really put together in my own life the idea that something that had happened in my parents' life had affected me and was now showing up not only in my marriage, but in the way that I was even parenting my own children. And so when he asked me the question, is there any alcoholism in your family? I said, no my parents don't drink. And he said, that's not what I asked you. I asked you if there was any alcoholism in your family. And his question was like a razor, like a hot razor, like, you know, being run through a stick of butter. It was like, you know, it seared me. I was like, wait a minute. Here's a very intelligent man asking me a question that I've just answered. And I thought I answered it correctly, but in fact, I haven't because the truth was both sets of my grandparents were alcoholics. And so were my uncles. And my parents then were raised by uh, alcoholics. So I, so throughout the generations, I had been affected by alcoholism and the effects of alcoholism. And I never made the connection. And so I left therapy that day, terrified, because I didn't know what it meant to be codependent. And it started me on a path that I've never, ever since let go of. Finding out what codependency was all about actually helped me create my new life. When I realized that I was codependent on my then husband, and I was codependent because my parents were codependent, and their parents were codependent, and that I was more afraid of what other people thought about me than I was about my own self, the pieces of the puzzle began to fit. I now knew why I felt so insecure. I now knew why I never had a sense of self. I grew up feeling invisible. I couldn't connect to my parents. I couldn't connect to my parents because they were unable to connect to their parents. So I was denied, I was denied this grounding to my parents, especially my mother, because she had so many issues. And I've since, thank God, I've worked all that out. And now I do what I do. So now I'm a life coach for adult children of alcoholics and adult children who have been abused by narcissistic parents. Essentially, I help adult children who have grown up feeling invisible and unworthy heal the trauma that created the beliefs that eventually became the childhood brainwashing and programming that has taken over their lives. So I've been asked, I have just have a, full, a couple of bullet points that I'm looking at to make sure that I give you exactly the information that I'm seeking to give you. So um, I've been asked why I made this coaching program well, as a life coach, um, especially after I wrote The Road Back to Me and it was released, I began to get emails from people who related to the story. And I wrote The Road Back to Me from the child's perspective because I understood what happened to me along the way. I felt invisible, and so I wasn't paying attention to my feelings. And so what ended up happening in my life, I married someone who didn't pay attention to my feelings. And so I wrote The Road Back to Me to help trigger your feelings. And then I got asked to coach people, and then I got certified as a life coach, and that's really how my, my whole career has evolved. And I've, I, in the past you know, couple of years, I get so many emails from people who want me to coach them because I have 200 plus YouTube videos. I simply can't coach everybody. And I decided to create a program that I could actually, that I could actually make available so anyone who wanted to benefit from a step program, a concise healing program that that is based on the things that I teach and that they're resonating with, I could actually create this program and I could help send it out and make it available to lots of people, not just to the few select people that I'm able to coach. 
So I made this program so that I could really reach a lot of people instead of just a few because I feel so terrible when I tell someone I'm sorry, I, I simply can't fit you into my coaching calendar. I'm, I really feel bad because the letters that I get are just heart-wrenching. And so that's one reason. Um, this program, another reason is because this program is actually, it actually works. So I figured out why it is we are the way we are and what we need to do to change it. And I make it available in 12 weeks, actually 12, 12 lessons that you'll able, you're able to digest. Um, this program covers why, well, what went wrong, why you are the way you are. It covers how you have to become accountable for what's showing up in your life now and how to ascend your old childhood programming. You would start off with you learning that it's not your fault, that you, you were entitled to a divine connection that went awry, and it ends up with you being able to ascend it all and, and having it all kind of like make sense because you're cognitive as well as emotional. So we have to appeal to both sides of your brain for you to really, and your spiritual side, for you to actually experience a true recovery experience. Um, this in program, just again, checking my notes, this, this program is so important and it's so needed because most therapies are cognitive and not spiritual or most if you go to a spiritual a spiritual uh, healer you'll address the spiritual nature of what what's been wounded but you won't address the psychological nature of what's been new, uh, wounded you might not understand the biological component to being wounded and so my program addresses all facets of you mind body and soul so you're not just going to heal on a cognitive level you're going to understand how it how how easy and how important and how vital it is is to respect who you are on a soul level or an energetic level, for those of you who are struggle with the soul, the God thing, the spirit thing, I totally get it. Um, it's going to address what happens in the body when trauma occurs. It's going to address the pain versus pleasure principle and the tribal instincts, what's happening to us, what are our codes, and how to ascend it and how to become the master of your true reality. You know, um, a secret hope of mine, you know, which is this little, this little desire that I have for my existence, for my personal reason for being, is to be able to help spread love and light on this planet in as many ways as I possibly can while I'm here. And it was becoming in alignment, learning how to become in alignment with my true self that opened me up to becoming enlightened. And then because I discovered myself, I was able to help other people discover their, self, their selves and their lives improved. And then the lives of their children improved, the lives of their grandchildren improved. And then they went out into their communities and now they're doing this amazing light work and just, just following their hearts. So the planet is benefiting. So a secret hope of mine is that lots and lots of people get healed and lots and lots of inner lights are found and born and our planet becomes a better place because of coaching program like this because I saw my light and it helped you see yours so um, that's who I am and that's why I created this coaching program and I really just value your time thank you so much for spending this this few minutes with me namaste I bow to the love and the light in you bye